This is the Photo Pro UFO 2. This is the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom. I'm going to see if this sub £20 tripod can take on this nearly £60 tripod. If you've been to this channel before then you will already know my thoughts on the Joby products. If you don't then you can check it out here. Following that video, Photo Pro asked me if I'd like to test out their flexible tripod. I said sure, why not? Whilst they are not sponsoring this video, they did send me this review unit for free. But I will give you my honest opinion on the said product. So the Photo Pro 2 has both articulated and flexible legs. Now unlike the Gorillapod, these legs are infinitely flexible and can actually wrap around on themselves. But also unlike the Gorillapod, the Photo Pro has an integrated ball head mount and the DSLR Zoom has a detachable quick release ball head mount. But the Photo Pro is more akin to their action tripod, this one. In the box you will get a GoPro mount, a phone mount, a Bluetooth shutter release button, as well as the tripod itself. Pretty good for under 20 quid. So the first thing I'm not particularly keen on with the tripod is the integrated ball head mount, for two reasons. One, it's not a quick release mount, it's simply a standard screw thread. You have to wind the camera on and off. Could be remedied with an accessory though. Number two is the adjustment on the ball head itself. It has a collar which you unscrew, then adjust the ball head, and then tighten down. When you've actually got a larger camera on the tripod, it can be difficult to adjust underneath the camera. You don't have that fine control like you do on the ball heads that you get with the Gorillapod SLR Zoom, assuming you buy that version of the tripod. That is extra, you can buy it without. Just for reference, the action tripod that Joby do does come with the same style of ball head and a quick release. The tripod weighs 227 grams and can take a maximum load of 800 grams. So it's good for a small DSLR with a lightweight body or anything compact or mirrorless will be fine. Whilst I can tell you what it's like in the studio, I took it out in the field to see what it's really like. Wrapping the legs around something like this fence is made simple because the legs are both articulated and extremely flexible. They're also covered in rubber so there's plenty of grip there to stop the camera slipping around. The phone attachment is a simple sprung grip, you just pull it apart and push it over the phone. You've then got two tripod attachments, one on the back and one on the bottom. Using this tripod for vlogging is certainly possible. The rubber grip is cushioned so holding it for a long period of time is no problem and it even copes fine with a camera this big and heavy. The flexibility of this tripod is impressive and the grip is really good because the rubber coating goes over the whole thing, unlike the Gorillapod where it's just in rings around each of the articulating balls. It can be a little bit tiresome taking the camera on and off without a quick release, but that's something you could remedy with an additional accessory. I love the fact that you can wrap this thing really tightly around small poles and rails. The Gorillapod just doesn't have that same articulation. It gets to a point and it stops itself from wrapping further around. Whereas this thing is insane. You can wrap it around on itself. So what's my overall thoughts on the tripod? If you're looking for something as an alternative to a Gorillapod, this would definitely work. The legs are far more flexible and less likely to break in my opinion. It can handle the weight of most cameras if you're starting out. And if you can get past the quick release and the ball head mount, then it's a winner. And for under 20 quid, you can't really go wrong. So I would definitely recommend it. Links to all the items featured in this video will be in the description. While you're down there, why not hit a like button or leave me a comment. If you want more of this type of content, then hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll catch you later.